Hey groupies, welcome back to Forma Therapy. This is The Culture Study. I'm the channel's video producer and your host. You can call me PD. And today we are checking out Sacrifice by Han Sung-woo. Uh, Han Sung-woo of Victim fame, breaking out on his own for a solo venture. Very curious as to what it's going to be like. Before we get into this video though, this video is brought to you by our Patreon. Guys, if you enjoy what we do, you wanna support us, head on over to our Patreon for as little as $2 a month. You get early access to videos like this, early access to our listening parties, uh, Japanese J-pop reactions. But for just a little bit more, you get live stage variety show, dance performance reactions, stuff like that. Uh, specifically, we have a handful of Victon uh, variety reactions on our Patreon. So if you want to check them out, head on over to our Patreon and become a summer tier patron or up. But supporting us monetarily is completely optional. If you don't want to or you can't, that's fine. Let's get into this video. This is Sacrifice by Han Zungu, and this is your form of therapy. All right, here we go. Still have no idea what this is going to be like. Oh, okay. Ooh, very smooth. Oh, very interesting pre Oh, 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 okay. Oh, his hair looks beautiful there. Wow. Such a simple setup, but it's so powerful. I love those little ad libs in the instrumental where it's like, where it was like going like, sure. Interesting. It's like, um, how do I describe this? It feels like a very pop version of like a weekend song. Like, it's very dark, uh, very emotional, um, very, very vocally driven. I mean, it doesn't play, I feel like, your typical K pop song. It doesn't feel as factory made, if that makes sense. Like, 
the thing about K-pop songs is like it, it it hits certain notes, it hits certain beats. It's got to have big flourishes here and there, um, typical pre-chorus buildups, um, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. I'm just saying that there is a formula for a K-pop song. This one, it's not fully, I would say, a Western song, but like there is something about this that feels very, very inspired by uh, Western music. Uh, again, the the main the main like immediate reaction I'm getting is like someone like The Weeknd. Like uh, if you took kind of like the like the emotional dark R&B stylings of The Weeknd, added a little bit more of a pop flair to it. Um, I feel like uh, you're getting Hans Zimmer's sacrifice. I think the song is both a great testament to his singing abilities, but also his style. I think. I think here, and here's the most important thing, like, this is the kind of thing that the initial impression I got off of, like, G-Dragon, when G-Dragon uh, went solo, well, not his initial Heartbreaker stuff, but when someone from a K-pop group goes solo, it is, I think, the best opportunity to showcase your own personal stylings. Some people just do it because... The company's like, hey, we need a solo endeavor. But some people, there, there are some people who are, who want to showcase and express their individuality and, and express their uniqueness and style. And I think Han Sung Woo is one of them. He joins the few um, K-pop idol soloists that come off uh, a, a little bit more unique. Uh, and I think it all comes down to style. Um, Han, Han Zumu is oozing with style. He's showcasing a side of himself. Like, again, this just, it doesn't play like a typical K pop uh, uh, idol song. You know, uh, I, I think, you know, just like take a look at even the visual elements. Like, his look here, it's, I think, one of the things that goes so underrated or overlooked uh when you do when you have a solo career or, or you're trying to make a solo push is uh showcasing also um your own fashion you know not just how your group's fashion worked but your own particular fashion and there are various parts in uh in this music video like i feel like his style is is a little bit um street culture inspired um mixed with um this is just like I don't know. It, it feels a little bit. Mm, it feels a little bit Asian, but something about it is like not completely Asian. But like even uh, that with this hairstyle, um, him topless, like all of this is oozing, oozing with um, with like a statement. Does that make sense? Like all of this feels like he's trying to make a statement. He's trying to showcase something there is something about him that is trying to come out um honestly i feel like this song you know if i could imagine you know i, I want to listen to this again but i think i can imagine hearing this on the american radio this sounds like this sounds like the type of song that could be an instant classic you know um i don't know how this is going to do, how this is going to perform. And because the K-pop factory is so, it's an ever-turning wheel and so many things get churned in and out, I feel like this could easily be overlooked. So many male soloists get overlooked, you know? I I think female solo artists uh, are, have a lot more focus, like Chonga, Sonmi, uh, than male solo artists do. I feel like male solo artists, um, just like, there are, they get forgotten a lot more or like people don't talk about it as much, you know, uh, Kim Dong-an, Kang Daniel. Um, I feel like it's kind of, kind of gets overlooked, you know, by actual like boy groups. But I think this song out of a lot of, um, and, and, uh, and I love Kim Dong-an and Kang Daniel's solo endeavors, but I feel like Han sung feels very unique. It feels, um, very, very, a, a lot deeper, something deeper beneath the surface. And I can't quite see it. I don't know what it is. I don't know what he's trying to showcase. Um, this isn't really my style of music. So 
Um, this is a little bit foreign for me, but I can tell that this is just like, this is beyond just like an average production. So I, I want to watch it again, see if something else pops out at me. Also, I think my blood sugar's low. I, I need a piece of chocolate. Hold on. Let's, let's, what is this? He can go solo. Han Sungu, I think, I I always liked, I always liked him. I always liked him in Victon, and it's very interesting that he started out doing uh, rapping stuff in Victon, and he's sort of he's sort of been transitioned into a vocalist. But I I I guess I never thought of him as like someone who could go solo, who would be a great soloist but just listening to his voice the confidence the charisma that he has this dude could go solo this dude could go solo i mean he did go solo but i'm talking like he could be a huge solo artist in his own right I love this pre-chorus. I love how gentle it is. I love that it's a little bit biting. Um, um, like they're they're like biting their time, but wow, it's it's so beautiful. <laughs> It's that run that I don't know what was the lyrics? I just is it I is it I just got oh I just gotta sacrifice so I just gotta sacrifice na, 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 na. like it's it's that that sells me it's instantly memorable it's instantly recognizable and it's kind of what reminds me of sort of like the weekends type stuff like the weekend I feel like when you listen to his music um uh when he goes high and when he stretches out his notes, it's incredibly memorable. And I feel like that's sort of the impression I'm getting here. Wow. That's this is a, um, lyrics talk about going crazy. In the acting there. His eyes, look at that. I love that. Combined with like his rapping. He can also rap too, which is incredible. I love that. It's things like that. It's like small little things about this production. Like this isn't a big colorful song. Like... The song is actually pretty tame uh, for what it is, but it's the small little things that that they throw in there, like the like in the pre-chorus where it goes jump jump, or like this part right here. What a beautiful shot. Freaking gorgeous. And it's like the way he's singing, it's almost like, it's like he's almost whispering, but he's still speaking out loud.
even that. Da 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 da. I I don't know what instrument that is. Uh, obviously, it's an electronic one, but like. Ba, 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 ba. I just gotta sacrifice, ba 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 ba. I gotta get you, babe, ba da ba ba. It's so creative. It's so catchy. It's so catchy. It's like an insanely catchy pop song, but it's not like a very bright, um, in. It's not that bright, intense, hype K pop boy group song you expect. What's going on with that scene of like him grabbing one of the extras? Is it just showcasing that he's going crazy? Oh, that oh that edit was that was sexy. He throws it to himself, and the backup dancers. Wow, that's like that. That's underrated. Underrated. Wow, what a great transition! And it has an outro, a fade out outro. Ooh, wow. Okay, listen, listen, listen. I think what what's blowing my mind about Han Zungu's um, sacrifice is it's a little bit like, kind of like non, like it's the perfect balance of the non-mainstream hip hop stuff that you kind of hear like the hip hop R&B uh pop rap stuff like like higher music like Sick K um uh PH1 those people um uh Dean like if it, it sounds like it has that level of production like I feel like when you get out of the K-pop mainstream, when you listen to like higher music stuff or you listen to DPR, whoever, um, I feel like the hip hop scene in Korea, the non-mainstream hip hop scene is so creative, you know, um, and, and they experiment a lot and they don't fall into like your typical um, K-pop production formats. And that's sort of what I get here, but it's just a little bit more pop. Like it still has that level of, catchiness you might see in like a mainstream song i think it's the perfect balance between mainstream and not mainstream and i think a song like this is incredible it's both super catchy and super super marketable but also um incredibly artistic that's sort of the vibe i'm getting from it the music is amazing the music video is not like the craziest music video in the world, but visually, it's it's beautiful. Visually, um, I mean, it, it just it comes off like the perfect soloist music video. Um, but you know, I am a huge Victon fan, so you know, I I guess I, I I don't know. I'm I think I think I'm looking at this non biasedly, but I I truly think this is just the debut. But I truly think Han Zungu has the potential to be like a G Dragon. Taeyang level of male soloists. Like, there are so very few male soloists that break into, like, a huge level of success, you know? Um, there's people in, in the female category, like Chong Ah, who's incredibly popular as a soloist, um, but not so much in the male category. Um, but I really, really think that Han Seung Woo can, depending on how his music... Uh, goes going forward. I don't know if this is an album. Um, if it's an album, I, I really want to check it out and and see and see 
uh, if oh, it's an EP. Wow, it's it's a whole EP. So I am gonna I'm downloading it right now. I'm gonna check out this EP and I'm gonna see the level of quality in his music and what he's gonna be going for. Um, but like I said, I think he has the potential to be an incredibly huge solo artist. I'm gonna give this song a 10 out of 10. I think this is a perfect male soloist song. I think it is incredibly, incredibly powerful, incredibly artistic, but also super catchy. His, 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 him stretching out his vocals during sacrifice is still in my brain right now. I just gotta sacrifice. It's so, it's so memorable. It's such a memorable song. I think it's incredible. Um, but that's what I think. What do you guys think? Uh, what do you guys think of Han, Han Zungu's sacrifice? Uh, do you agree, disagree with me about his potential as a solo artist? Let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. Um, thank you guys for watching our reaction and review. You know, if you guys enjoy what we do on this channel, if you guys would like to support us, uh, you can visit us at patreon.com slash formatherapy. For as little as $2 a month, you get early access to videos like this and more. We have live stage variety show, drama, reality show reactions. So uh, you can check that out over on our Patreon. However, supporting us monetarily is completely optional. If you don't want to or you can't, that's completely fine. You know, a free way to help us out is to, like I said, leave a comment or hit that like button. You know, when you interact with our videos, it helps us out with the YouTube search algorithm. Them. If you're new, um, why don't you go ahead and hit subscribe? I'm a, I'm a big Victon fan, so if you're a new Alice, consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell to be notified when we upload a new video. And go ahead and check out all our other videos over here. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.